mutation and immunity, attack and defense, and the stress response are behind everything. This is where, and, this, and behind, by the way, attack and defense and stress response and inflammation and immunity, you got dirty blood. This is our control point. Our control point from a physical perspective is to clean the blood. Joyce writes, I listened to Coast to Coast. I heard, doc, I heard Dr. Wallach. My husband has COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, and he has an eye condition called multifocal corditis. Is there anything you do for these symptoms? He's 65, and this is the best part. I hear this all the time. He's 65, and he's in good health otherwise. Folks, if you have COPD and multifocal corditis, your body's falling apart. You're not in pretty good health. Now, I'm not saying this to rip on this poor lady who just wants some help, but this is the thinking that gets us in trouble. I'm in good health except for my COPD and my multifocal corditis. For the, just to be clear, multifocal corditis is an eye condition. It's an inflammation of a part of the eye, the coating of the eye, which, is, which surprise, surprise, is uh, the cordia. So corditis is an inflammation of the cordia. It's an inflammation of the surface of the eye, of part of the eye. Inflammation means immunity. Immunity means defense. COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is going to affect how the blood is oxygenated. That's going to lead to dirty blood. Now, forget the cause of the COPD. The cause of the COPD could be smoking. It usually involves something like that. But the problem with COPD is the blood is not getting oxygenated, and it's leading to, to a degeneration of the body. A lack of oxygen is a major cause of stress, which tells you something very, very important. You can anti-stress, you can reverse the stress response by oxygenating. COPD is going to cause serious problems with oxygenation. It's going to lead to degeneration, secondary to the stress response. Sitting on the couch, practicing your deep breathing techniques is absolutely vital. Then this, poor, this woman, is going to, or her husband, is going to need to do things for her blood that support oxygenation. Nutritional supplements are going to be vital, especially the B-complex and essential fatty acids, also magnesium. Of course, if there's blood sugar issues, and almost always there's going to be because these precede all breakdown, you need to stabilize the blood sugar, use chromium vanadium, the B-complex, the sweeties, and then there's the whole digestive link. That means food diary and elimination diet. Now listen, I know you've heard this a million times. I've said it over and over and over again, and I'll continue to say it. This is so important that we understand this simplicity. Now, our coast-to-coast -coast listeners who are writing these letters, they don't listen to this program. They haven't heard this program. They don't know this, but you guys do. If you're listening to this program, please understand, no matter what your health challenges are, backtrack to the simple threads that run, run underneath it all. Another letter from Danielle. Heard you on Coast to Coast. Wish I would have started your regimen before I got sick. I heard you mention Bell's palsy. I was diagnosed with Bell's palsy, and I'm absolutely miserable. No kidding, of course. It's a miserable condition. That's when you have these terrible twitches in your face. Awful condition, and it is miserable. Danielle continues, I've also had problems with depression, low energy, and anxiety. Well, of course, because nobody just has Bell's palsy. Oh, and then this, actually, I'm a pretty happy person. Well, how can you be a happy person if you're depressed and have low energy and anxiety and Bell's palsy? This is the disconnect that we have, and I'm not ripping on Danielle. I just want to show you guys how we set the bar so low on our health that we think we're happy even though we're depressed and have low energy and anxiety. Bell's palsy is an electrical problem. It's caused by neurology, the nerves. It's tinnitus of the face. It's Alzheimer's disease of the face. It's macular degeneration of the face. It's the same problem. It's an condi inflammatory condition that's affecting the nerves in the face. Just like, just like um, uh, tinnitus is an inflammatory condition that affects the nerves in the ear. Just like macular, macular degeneration is an, uh, an inflammatory condition that affects the macula, and just like Alzheimer's disease is an uh, inflammatory condition that affects the, 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 the frontal cortex, the, the cognitive centers of the brain, just like Parkinson's disease is an inflammatory condition that affects the back of the brain, the movement centers of the brain, just like arthritis is a joint uh, inflammatory condition that affects the joints, it's the same thing. Bell's palsy is arthritis of the face. So what do you do? Well, you reduce inflammation, you reduce the immune system, the, the stimulated immune system, you prevent the attack, 
which is always coming in through the digestive system. For Bell's palsy, Danielle, what you do, number one, is you work on your digestive system. Eliminate problem foods, do a fast if you have to, food diary, et cetera. Use probiotics, the bioluminightly essence. Use digestive enzymes after all meals or with all meals. The ultimate enzymes and apple cider vinegar. Stabilize the blood sugar. Now, I know... I, Danielle, if she's listening, saying, well, I don't have a problem with my blood sugar. I just have a problem with Bell's palsy. They're connected. The Bell's palsy is a manifestation of dysglycemia. And behind Bell's palsy, and behind Alzheimer's disease, and behind tinnitus, and behind arthritis, you will find dysglycemia. You will find digestive issues, and you'll find a lack of oxygen and a stress response. So continuing, working on the digestive system, stabilizing the blood sugar, and then making sure that you're sitting on the couch and practicing your slow, deep breathing techniques, and then getting on a good nutritional supplement program. The reason nutritional supplements are so important is because they tell the body it's safe. That's really what we're talking about here, you guys. Telling the body it's safe. Everything in life, from a, an amoeba, to a, a, a bacteria, to an animal, to a rodent, to a human, everything in life wants to be safe, needs to be safe, will not thrive unless it is safe. If you're having a problem in your relationships, guaranteed, somebody doesn't feel safe. If you have a problem with your children, if you have a problem with your customers, if you have a problem with your boss, if you have a problem with your husband or wife or girlfriend, guaranteed, somebody doesn't feel safe. And if you have a problem with your body, likewise, somewhere in your body, there is a lack of safety. And this follows a lack of nutrition, a lack of oxygen, and a chronic attack from sugar and from the digestive system. So turning it around requires helping the body feel safe, making the body feel safe. The key ways to do it are to reduce anything that's getting in that's attacking the system through the digestive system, lowering and stabilizing the blood sugar, and making sure you're oxygenating correctly. Nothing is going to tell the body it's not safe faster than a lack of oxygen, which means simply sitting on the couch and practicing your slow, deep breathing can activate the safety response can activate the healing nervous system, the parasympathetic nervous system, and reverse, begin to reverse any chronic degenerative disease. Here's another one. Weight loss. Weight loss is a class, or weight gain, inability to lose weight, is a classic sign of an activated emergency response. If you are trying to lose weight and you can't, understand this. Relaxing the body, activating the parasympathetic relaxation nervous system is one of the fastest ways to lose weight. How do you do it? Sitting on the couch, practicing your deep breathing, reducing your intake of sugar, using nutrients that help you process sugar, eliminating problem foods, using nutrients that support the digestive system, and of course, getting on a good, solid, well-rounded, robust nutritional supplement program like the one designed by Dr. Wallach. You can find out all about it by heading over to my website, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, or pharmacistben.com. If you're interested in purchasing any of our Truth Treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening, friends. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.